The James Webb Telescope has been out in space discovering the secrets of our universe and it might solve the mystery of our origin someday. However, it has recently been hit by an object in space and scientists are not just choked but also terrified. The main concern among the scientists obviously was what this object is, but now the results of this crash are also coming up. So make sure to watch this video till the very end to find out the truth. The James Webb Telescope had a total budget of about $10 billion and it launched back in 2021. Since its launch, it has sent back some of the most complex images of outer space. Some of these images even raise questions about the Big Bang Theory and life on other planets. But at a time where James Webb is making such profound discoveries, we can't really afford for the telescope to just get lost in space and never come back. A lot of resources, time, and hopes are involved in the making of James Webb. And there are a whole lot of studies that are to be done as James Webb moves forward on its course. However, it all became blurry when James Webb was recently hit by an object in outer space. Now, the telescope is so far away that it would have taken several months for scientists to repair it. And if the damage from the hit was overwhelming, there was a chance that the telescope could just drift away from its path and crash on some random planet. This raised a lot of eyebrows and everyone was concerned when the news of James Webb being hit in space went public. No one really thought that accidents of this sort could happen in space too. But James Webb was more than 1.6 million kilometers and there really was no way to find out what was going to happen. So the astronomers waited for James Webb to send back new data from space and soon they had the data unlike what most people thought would happen. The main issue was that James Webb has huge mirrors at its front and scientists were afraid that if anything potent hit these mirrors, they might break and there would be no chance that they'll be getting as clear images of outer space then. It would have changed the scientific world because they would have to invest so much money again on building another telescope and it would have taken several years before they launch again. However, James Webb saved them from going through all this trouble because even after getting hit, the telescope was working pretty much perfectly. In reality, the object that hit James Webb was hit by a micrometeoroid. However, NASA said in a press release that James Webb has already gone through an initial performance assessment and it's still exceeding the performance level that was expected from it. Press release also said that the data being received from the James Webb telescope is the same as usual and the observatory is doing what it is designed to do. This statement was enough to invalidate all the rumors around the poor performance of James Webb after the hit and about how James Webb is lost, but NASA is hiding this information. According to NASA, the micrometeoroid affected the primary mirror segment of the telescope. However, the meteorite itself is smaller than a grain of sand, which is why it wasn't successful in doing any long-term harm to the telescope. James Webb or any other telescope operating in outer space usually can avoid micrometeoroids. That's the very reason why scientists keep them in mind while building the structure of their spacecraft. The scientists who designed the James Webb telescope also prepared it for such minor accidents because they knew that micrometeoroids could be quite a hassle. The telescope manager at NASA, Lee Feinberg, also said that they were expecting some degradation in the performance and quality of Webb's mirrors because they're very exposed in outer space, which also makes them vulnerable to micrometeoroids. In fact, in just a few months, Webb has witnessed around four micrometeoroid strikes and all of them were quite minor, so the telescope turned out just fine. This makes people think that a billion dollar project can simply turn to dust and space at any given time, and there really is nothing we could do about it. Well, you should know that James Webb is worth taking the risk because he is taking us to the deepest ends of the universe at places where no human has dared to reach and the planets that no one has ever seen before. So losing James Webb would obviously be the last thing that NASA wants, but it also can't control the things that come flapping around in space. Though what NASA actually can do is simply change the optics away from the Webb telescope whenever there's an extreme meteor shower. It's going to make sure that the mirror and lenses are going to be safe even if the telescope takes a little hit. Scientists are now saying that James Webb being hit by a micrometeoroid wasn't a meteor shower or the scientists would have already known about it. It simply was a sudden event that happened but the good thing is that James Webb is safe and there really is no difference in its performance. 
Ever since this hit, James Webb has discovered an exoplanet, has released dark images, and has also teamed up with Hubble. All after a horrible accident. Luckily, the hit wasn't severe at all, and that's why scientists took it so lightly. The only obvious effect of this hit was on a small portion of the mirror segment, as it took one for the team. There actually was some degradation in wavelength from the affected area, and scientists only found it out after inspecting the data for a while. They noticed some change, and there was. However, this change in no way affects the things that James Webb is going to discover. Plus, the telescope will continue its mission as planned, and NASA wouldn't send any help from Earth. Even though they can do most repairs from the Earth using machines, if the mirrors somehow break, then the telescope will be of no use. These mirrors have enabled us to see planets that are more than a billion years old. So replacing someone of this sort would be very difficult in the near future. Even though the performance of James Webb remains unchanged, the micrometeoroid has still caused some serious damage to the mirror, and it can't be reversed with anything. So they might have to continue the mission with a faulty mirror. In fact, a recent report revealed that there are six deformations in the mirror of James Webb. Because of these strikes, and if things continue to be the same, it wouldn't be wrong to assume that the quality of the telescope would be affected anytime soon. So, an object striking billion-dollar equipment in outer space sounds pretty scary. But what's even scarier is knowing that we might find a planet that has alien life with the help of James Webb. Are we ready to find out that we're not the only humans in this universe? And is NASA prepared if something unexpected happens to James Webb? Well. There are a lot of questions that are yet to be answered, but just know that we're closer than ever to finding all those answers. So what are your thoughts on this? Tell us in the comments. Also, make sure to like this video, launch the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.